Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java try with resources with the help of examples so guys try with resources statement automatically closes all the resources at the end of the statement so we can have a scenario that is we can open a particular file using the buffered reader class and in order to close that we can either have the finally block or else we can also use the try with resources which we are going to see with the help of examples in this video so guys a resource is an object to be closed at the end of the program so as i said opening a file it would require a resource that is buffered reader class and we are supposed to close it in order to make our code efficient so this is the syntax as you can see after the try keyword we have inside the open and close brackets resource declaration so this we are going to check with the help of examples and then we can have the relevant lines of codes over here inside the try block and then after that we can also have the catch block and the finally block as well but it is not necessary to have the finally block that's because usually in order to close the resources we use the finally block so instead of having the finally block we can have the resource declaration over here and guys what is the advantage as you can see finally block not required to close the resource so let us check this with the help of examples now so over here as you can see we have the main method and inside this main method what we will have is let's say we have a buffered reader over here so this buffered reader it is going to read a particular file so we have buffered reader over here br is the object name that we are going to use for the buffered reader and then we are going to have new buffered reader in order to initialize so we have buffered reader and this thing will take the reader as the parameter over here so we can have a simple reader that is file reader so we will have new file reader over here and this file reader it will take a new file so we have to provide the path it also takes the string of the file name actually so we can use this particular constructor and provide the path of a file so let's say we have a test dot txt file which doesn't actually exist in this particular path so we are going to check how we can catch this exception over here once it is occurring since this file is not present over here so i'll just move this code to the next line so that it is more readable so as you can see inside this buffered reader we are having the new file reader and for that we are providing the file name to be read and then guys what we can do is we can read this in a particular string so let's say the first line that we want to read we can use the br object followed by dot and then we have read line method so what this will do is it will return a string and it will assign to this particular line object that is of data type string and then guys what we can have is we can have the catch block over here and for this catch block we can have the exception we have exception e and then we can just print the e dot message so i'm just going to print e dot message over here so we have e dot message as the name of the method that is e dot get message over here so guys let me just save this file and try running this code to see what will be the output so basically it should be a exception so as you can see test dot text the system cannot find the file specified now guys even if the file is present and we are successfully able to read it into this line at the end of the program what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to close this connection that is this br that we have we are supposed to close that connection so either we can do it in the try itself so over here we can have br dot close over here this dot close method is used in order to close the connection that is created by the buffered reader or else we can have this line of code that is br dot close over here inside this finally block as well now what will happen over here is irrespective whether there is an exception that is occurring in the try block or if it is not occurring in the try block finally block will have to be mandatorily executed so basically at the end of the program this br dot close will get executed and guys this is the way that we close the connection in the finally block but there is an alternative that is try with resources that we can use so in order to use the try with resources what we can do is after this try block we can have open and close brackets over here and this line of code that is initializing of the buffered reader we can just cut this and paste this over here 
inside these brackets so as you can see inside the brackets we have defined this line that is buffered reader and this buffered reader will read the file that is whatever we provide in this particular path and there is no need of having this finally block then guys in order to close that connection so we can remove this finally block and over here we need not have to have this br dot close that's because automatically the buffered reader will get closed over here since we are using it inside this open and close brackets which we call it as try with resources so guys this is one of the efficient ways that we can use it try with resources in order to avoid the final block which is not required in order to close the resource now the second advantage is try with resources with multiple resources so basically this is one of the resources that we have used and after this semicolon over here we can have another line of code so what we can do is let's say we have a print writer so we have print writer over here so I am going to have writer as the object name it will be equal to new print writer so let's say the new file name we are going to have new.txt now guys what this print writer will do is it will write into this file that is new.txt but then we can also have it in the try with resources block as we are having it right now over here so that we need not have to close this that is writer.close need not be provided over here as the separate line of code so we can have writer.close over here so basically manually we have to do this inside the finally block which we can avoid by using the try with resources where we can provide the resources inside the brackets so guys next time whenever you are working with databases wherein you connect to the database using the try block you can use the try with resources that is you can provide the resources inside these open and close parentheses and you need not have to close the connection after your execution of the program so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java list interface with examples so stay tuned